Hi Internet, this is just a demo of how I built a centrifugal separator for my shop vac out of a couple of uh, mini fridge kegs. Um, centrifugal separator, same principle as uh, is on the Dyson vacuum. Uh, the shop vac is connected here and it sucks air through here, spins it around and the air has to make a sharp corner to come up and go back down into the shop vac. And it's that sharp corner that the air can go around, but the uh, solid materials um, have more inertia and they don't make it around. So the solid materials fall in the bottom here. So let's take a look at inside and see what we got. You can see it's full of aluminum shavings right now. And disconnect this you look at the internal construction uh, as you can see it's just a 45 degree air deflector and the air comes in and it spins around in here and all the uh, dirt falls out into the bottom can and uh, you need to build this if you build one of these you need to build it out of a uh, fairly rigid uh, materials because there's a significant amount of vacuum pressure pushing in on these uh, cans when it's under operation especially if the uh, shop back hose gets blocked and um, the great advantage of having these is you don't have to clean your shop vac filter very often and this guy I've even used it with liquids it will even capture liquids into the bottom and so this is my first attempt at building one so uh, I know the Dyson advertises that it took 12 years to make a perfect one well you can make a, a one that will capture a good 90 percent of the solid materials in you know just a few hours so um, as long as you're spinning the air around in a uh, tornado kind of shape then tornado vortex shape then uh, it will probably work I've seen a lot of different designs so uh, quick and easy thing to uh, make your shop vac work better and uh, have fun building